And all five fans, we are set to go once again. Three rounds. This in the Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. His background is in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing. At five feet six inches tall, he weighed it officially 140 and one third pounds. This 11 fight veteran has an outstanding professional record that stands at eight victories, two defeats, and one draw. He fights out of Geneva, Switzerland. Here is Marcelo Costa. Next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in 135 and one quarter pounds, and this veteran has an outstanding cage record, standing at 23 victories. Six defeats with one draw from Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, England. Here is Ronnie Iron Man! <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Mark Goddard. Referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them. Neither man. Here we go, ready? ready with too much of a habit for going to decisions, Josh. Ronnie Mann in the white pattern trunks. Marcelo Costa in the white board shorts. We always see very tight technical strikes from Ronnie Mann. Never gets wild, always stays very composed. Josh, we talked about sounding the unit alarm earlier for the middleweights, but Ronnie Mann is an absolutely huge bantamweight. Yeah, really he's well put together. He's made this cut so consistently for so long now. Early days spent fighting at higher weights. 145, I believe he competed at lightweight too. Rosella Costa's found his way into these double underhooks, marching Ronnie Mann against the cage here. Man trying to pummel back inside. Get some sort of defense back in place. Really can't be overstated how difficult it is to push a guy like Ronnie Mann around the cage. Such a compact individual, such great wrestling. Yeah, he's Costa searching. Applying pressure against the cage now, though. Searching for those knees, haven't found a home for them yet. The Brazilian looks to change level, but leaving a bit too much space, and Mann's able to shake him off there. Nice combination there from Mann. Straight punches, doing the trick. They call him the Iron Man because he has no problem whatsoever with his cardio. Absolutely phenomenal shape. Great combination, he wobbled Costa there. Yeah, and you see he's not rushing forward, he's taking his time. Just staying very composed. Again, though, the Brazilian finds these double underhooks. Ronnie Man pummels back inside. Over-unders here. It's a very equal position. We touched on it briefly, Josh, earlier, that the pretty torrid wake up that Costa had to endure. How much of an effect is that going to have on his condition in this fight? We are about to find out. Yeah, we'll find out particularly if it starts going deep. Ronnie Man again able to create the space, turns off nicely. Man throwing wild hooks in that exchange. Nice straight jab from Costa there. Man doing great work coming forward with those sharp little combinations, tidy work. Rosalo Costa's found his way in twice, but twice Ronnie Man has just been able to very succinctly defend those upper body clinches. Leg kick from man there. Zipping stuff from the man from Cheltenham, Gloucester, here in the UK. Nice straight left hand there. See a bit more head movement now from Costa. It's like those straight shots have woken him up a little bit. It's so piercing when he comes forward with those. It's not like Costa's leaving too much space through the center of his guard, but man's just finding the route every time at the moment. The speed of man really making the difference with those straight punches. Flashing them out immediately back, getting his guard up to prevent the counter. 
Level change attempted there. Yeah, by Marcelo Costa. He's got in on the hips, 100% defense from Ronnie Mann using that, that big lever on that underhook. Again, though, changes level, going for the hips. Oh, now that is a lovely transition from Marcelo Costa, but immediately Mann bounces back up. Costa did a great job of getting his base underneath that leg, really putting his head through the gap and using his whole body to lift the leg of Ronnie Mann up there. Mann was not ready to go to the mat. Great takedown defense. Costa putting some work in there up against the cage. Yeah, he's getting in on these takedown entries. He's left his neck in though. Oh, Ronnie Mann looking for a guillotine. And gives it up, accepts the bottom position, and Marcelo Costa finally has his takedown. Man, is he looking for it? Yeah, he had a go-go platter attempt on Marit Pikov. Triangle now, perhaps, but an easy stack pass for Marcelo Costa. Costa trying to control the back of Man now. Final 10 seconds, not going to have a lot of time to play with this position. Here's the Brazilian. Drags his man down. Oh, this is a good end to the round Stop. for him, but... A little bit too little, too late. But that is flashes of what Marcelo Costa can do if he can get Ronnie Mann to the ground. Well, we're going to take a look at some of the action from the first round. Beautiful straight punches from Ronnie Mann. Fast, accurate, really making Costa think. Yeah, Costa wasn't short of takedown entries, but he ate a lot of these punches, getting wobbled there. Great resilience from the Brazilian. Man with a nice leg kick, varying up his attack. And again, Josh, straight punches, straight forward through the guard. And when This was a great transition as well. Ronnie Mann popped straight back up. But when the Brazilian did find the takedown, you could see he was immediately looking to threaten Ronnie Mann. Great stuff here so far at Cage Warrior 68. Our fans on Twitter certainly enjoying themselves. Just received a tweet with the hashtag CWFC68 from Martin Rimmer in Mauritius. <laughs> Staying up late to watch Cage Warriors 68. We hope you're enjoying the show. Martin from Mauritius. Timing. Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer calling the action. We're certainly enjoying the show. We hope you all are too at home. And we hope you're all going to tune in for hashtag Super Saturday, 7th of June from London. Two main cards, two world title fights. One night and one very special guest in the commentary booth, <laughs> Jen's Little Evil Pulver, one of my MMA heroes, will be joining us in the booth to call the Super Saturday action. But tonight we're in Liverpool. Marcelo Costa and Ronnie Mann unloading here at the start of the second round. Yeah, both guys still staying calm. Nobody's rushing into things here. I mean, both these guys have so much experience. Neither one of them is going to... Uh, Slip up easily here. Another flurry from Ronnie Mann. It's Costa instigating that exchange, though. I mean, although Ronnie Mann has very crisp hands and feet, for that matter, he does only have four TKO finishes in 23 wins. Outpointed his opponents on seven occasions, though, so very familiar with going the distance. to finding a home for his strikes, but man firing back with impunity here. A game with the straight punches, Josh. I mean, just keeping them straight. Doesn't really have to mix them up because they're finding the target each time. Marcelo Costa, in contrast, a little bit more wild. Landing a few good shots of his own, though. A bit of wear and tear on the face of Ronnie Mann. Maybe we're starting to see some confidence building Costa here. Such a high percentage of these shots landing from Ronnie Mann. I'd love to see some fight stats on this one. Nearly everything finding a home. Lovely level change from Marcelo Costa. Just as I say that, Costa goes straight under the hook. I said in the walk his timing was so good, and that's the first time we've really seen it. Straight under the incoming strikes of Ronnie Mann. And now he's looking to pass this guard. And try and step over that leg. Ronnie Mann is also going to try and bring that leg. Oh, and has he got a sweep here? Fantastic stuff from Ronnie Mann. Got to be careful though, he's left that leg in. Yeah, Marcelo Costa attacking the foot here, Josh. 
Well, he can't quite see what he's got. Ronnie Mann is looking for a knee bar of his own. Difficult to see from this position if Mann's got that in. Costa trying to pull his leg out. He just looked at his corner and gave him a little nod of the head. He seems to be okay in this position. Yeah, and he's Mann managed, trying to get on top. He's managed to pull himself back up to the top position here. Ronnie Mann, we've already seen how active his guard is, though. And again, we saw in just 30 seconds at the end of the first round that Costa is incredibly active himself. Ronnie Mann looking for a triangle. And again, Costa uses it to just Back forward pressure under that leg. Stack Ronnie Mann up and earn that good pass. We get the one hook in is Costa. Well, he's got both, both hooks now. Let's see if he can flatten Ronnie Mann out. Hips coming in deep. This is the first time we've seen Ronnie Mann in trouble on the ground in his Cage Warriors career. There is still a fair amount of time for the Brazilian to work here. Just a shade over 90 seconds to go in the second round. Marcelo Costa searching for the rear naked choke here. Josh, this looks like it might be in. Oh, he's and there's a Ronnie submission! Mann. Unbelievable! Marcelo Costa submits Ronnie Mann in the second round at well Cage Warriors 68. Absolutely shocking result in the co-main event of the evening. We said this guy was dangerous if it went to the ground and all he needed was that one takedown. Diligently working to the back and wasting no time whatsoever. The nice right hand there from Costa got through. Man landing too. Costa coming forward with some shots there. Nice combination from Man. But he went straight underneath I mean, that the, hook, Dick Costa. The timing was fantastic there. And once he got on the back, he flans Ronnie Mann out. The hips are so heavy. And at this point, Ronnie Mann's trying to get himself back up to that turtle position. And in doing so, just left his neck open. And you see the bend in the spine combined with the choke. And yet more turmoil, more turnabout for the Cage Warriors bantamweight division. This one really is wide open yeah i mean this is a new player i mean a lot of guys are gonna have to watch out now if marcelo costa can put a bit of a run together well, what he, got a division. he got his win in his cage warriors debut so let's throw it to joe martinez to make it official ladies and gentlemen the end comes officially three minutes 35 seconds round number two submission by rear naked choke for your winner in his Cage Warriors debut, Marcelo Costa! Big win for Marcelo Costa. A tordid weight cut yesterday. The juice was worth the squeeze.